Hello beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. Today we are going to launch a SCM console and see what we can find. In the last video, we actually learned together how we can install the lab, make sure everything is running as expected. So today, we're going to launch it and uh, by going to stats, configuration manager, and let's see what we found. Everything is looking good, to be honest. Most of the time, I make sure that I have my server manager and once that is open, I go to local server as it looks here and download the updates just to make sure that my server is actually updated. If we check, there, sh there shouldn't be no update pending because I did that today like 7.24 a.m. Let's, let me minimize this. All right, let's go back to our beautiful console. So it's telling me that I have 179 days left for the evaluation version, which is okay for me. And I have some beautiful panel on my left hand side where I can see the assets and compliance, the software library, monitoring, administration tab, and the community. Maybe I wanted to read some some documentation i can just navigate to this all right where are we going to be going today let me go to the admin part of it because i really wanted to see what i can update what's going on right here so from the overview most of the time you find it like this you can actually expand the how do you call this Hmm. Okay, maybe navigation panel. Then we go to we navigate to the updates. So most of the time, I love to see what is inside there. So we got features where you can see a lot of beautiful things that you can turn on. Oh, look at that the the dark dim. So maybe we're gonna turn on that later. And then we have the console. Let's see the web view to extension. Okay, let's start from here. So it's telling me that it's available to download. Wow, so I can actually get this server from 2303 to 2211. So let's go for it. Let's keep downloading all this one by one. Is a new update pack is available. It's recommended that you download or install the latest update pack. Okay, so that means that I can go over here Let's see, okay, look at the dates. So I can go over here and I can download that. Okay, it's still saying something, okay, why not? Let me just go over it and upgrade this server from 2203 and I'm going to upgrade that to 2211. So let's see, is it ready for install? I'm going to do that right now. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to ignore this because, well, it's not a good practice, but since I already have this configured, I know, maybe, or I understand what I have configured. So let me uncheck it. Let's see what we have. So next, so let's see. Ability to manage bit locker drive inscription, okay. Approve application request for user per device. Uh, remove. Mm. Uh, let me just leave this. I think I, I can install the feature. Maybe I'm interested in the BitLocker one. I can in, I can install this feature later or activate it from the future uh, menu right here. So, but I love the uh, the BitLocker management. So let's go to next. Upgrade without validating. Validate the pre-production collections. Okay, I'm going to choose the default one and click on continue. 
and I'm going to accept the license terms and privacy statements. All right. Okay. No problem. Next. Now it's asking me to actually enable cloud attach with Azure. So that means that am I going to sign in right here? But maybe I don't want to do that for now during my upgrade because I can actually do this later. So I don't want to do that in this um, upgrade. I'll do it later. So next and finish. So let's see how long it's going to take. I don't think it should take a uh, long period of time. Look at that. Okay, that's that's done. Okay, I'm going to click on close. So what happened? Let me do a refresh. It's actually telling me that it is stalling. So Peter, patience, patience. Okay. Let's, let's just wait a little bit. So I'll be right back once it's done. Now, I think it's checking the prerequisites for the Configuration Manager 2211. So it's take a while, maybe to get here is around like three to four minutes. So I'll keep on checking and now we'll be right back. All right, so it looks like we are checking the Prerequisite check passed with one. Yes, I know it's gonna pass with one because we skip the the one part of it during the during the upgrade. So let's wait for it. I'll be right back once the status actually change. All right, so I was just checking the installation like you, like normal. So I'm very curious of what it's doing. So what I did is go back to my, uh, okay, look at that, update services. I right click on it, show status. So I get this, so I've, I can see that the download, the replication, the prerequisite, uh, the prerequisite check is actually completed with one. So now it's doing the installation. So it looks it's taking a while. It's been like 30 minutes now. 30 minutes already. So just in case you are doing your own in your lab. So you'll be able to know that this takes a while. So you can actually go grab your coffee or tea and uh, you know, or maybe you're trying to do something else on your computer like I'm doing right here. So we're going to wait for it. I'll be right back. All right, this actually takes like one hour, 30 minutes. So what I did is that I want go ahead and restart my, my server. And after that, I'm able to launch, for example, I go up here, I'm able to launch the Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager and let's see what happened. Oh, 
Oh, okay. It's taking a while. Patient, Peter. Patience. I think I knock it out for myself. All right, Peter. You need to have patience. All right, I think it's going, it's still connecting to database. So maybe that is it. Uh, you might actually experience this. You, oh, look at that. Patience, Peter, patience. You might actually experience this. It takes a while, depends on the on the resources that you have. But I'm, I'm going to be patient right now. So it takes like maybe one to two minutes for that to, to get done. Right now I'm going to wait. So one thing I learned is to be patient. <laughs> okay, now we have it. So if we go over here and we come to about, we can see that we have version 2011. So that means that we already have the latest version. Let's go for it in update and services. Excel installing. Oh, so he hasn't finished installing. So I'm going to go ahead and see the status right here. And it status show installing. So let's see. Right here. Okay, good. If you look at this, this actually get improved. So we are still waiting for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to finish all this so that we can say, I mean, we can say that we have the full installation of this. So I'm going to pause this video and I'll be, I'll be right back once we have everything done right here. So uh, guys, what I've done when I have this is that it's going to show like everything just disappear, like it's not connecting. All you have to do is just restart your your configuration manager, the server, and come back here again to, to see the status and everything should show up right here. Just in case you, you see or you noticed that everything just get disconnected and well, there's nothing to worry about. Just restart your server and everything should be up and running again, just like we have it right here. So, we're going to wait and I'm going to be right back. All right, looks like it's finished. So I'm going to refresh it and the installation is completed. It takes a while. Please, if you're going to do this, you need to have like maybe two or three hours uh, booked for the upgrade. So now we're going through the post installation. So which is in progress. This shouldn't take that long, but I uh, will keep monitoring this and I'll be right back. All right, it looks like uh, it's almost done. It takes a while. So I just click on show status and I get this, a new version of the console is available. So click OK to close the console and install the new version now. So I'm going to click OK. Yes. Wow. So if you're going to prepare for the for the upgrade of the MECM or SSCM, well SSCM is like an old name. Please kindly uh, book like maybe two to three hours or non-working hours because 
it depends on your environment. I only have this test environment and maybe because of my connection or things like that, but I, I felt it takes really long time. It takes really long time. So I'm going to wait for this one to come up. Um, I'll be right back. I need to, to take some tea. All right. All right, so it looks like it's back. So let's see what we have. Uh, looks like we have a new console. Let me go to about. Okay, we have the right version. We go to the admin update services. Wow, look at that, it's installed. So it looks like we have successfully, uh, su su okay, successfully install or upgrade from 2203 to 2211. So when I check for update right now, it looks like there's nothing right now to be to be updated so we already have that installed so everything looking nice and uh, another thing i wanted to say okay we're gonna see this in another video but for now we have actually updated our mecm server to 2211 so we learn by practicing. If you have made it to the end of this video, I really wanted to thank you so much. Um, please, if you find it valuable, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. With that being said, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.